Hey you guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this might confuse you today, but I um, have been at the river all weekend um, since Thursday and I am looking rough. <laughs> so um, I decided I would do this video, but I will do it um, sort of backwards. So um, I closed out a party and got some rewards from the party. So um, while since he doesn't send an invoice, um, they do send um, like a packing slip. So if I remember correctly, I believe I got all of these products for like um, $80 maybe. And that was because I just used all of my rewards. And so I just wanted to show you what I picked up. Um, so one of the things that I got was um, a bunch of Bring Back My Bars that I knew that I had tried out and loved and that I wanted to get some more of. Some of these are in my club already too, um, just because I liked them that much. Some of them I just wanted to have a few more of, but didn't intend on putting in my club. So um, that's where we'll start is with the wax. So I got um, some spring forward. So I have one, two, three bars of spring forward. And let me tell you guys, spring forward is a very unique scent. So I have seen lots of people talk about this since the Bring Back My Bar came out. Um, and most people have a different reaction than I do. So I am in love with this. I had never smelled it before. And the name would imply to me like some kind of floral, um, bright kind of springy scent. And while it does have florals, it has a very super strong wood note. And florals and fruit and wood don't usually go together. But... Um, that's why I got it is because it was so unique and different and I really, I really like it. So I got three of those. I got three, um, coffee tree. So, um, coffee tree, um, is I think Sensi's closest attempt at, at coffee. We've had a few other coffee things. Um, and I wouldn't say that this was just coffee. It has a very sweet note and also kind of a florally note. Like if I don't, I don't know if coffee trees have flowers. I assume that they do, um, but it kind of has that, um, but it's a very lovely scent, very strong. In fact, of all of the bars, when I opened that one, um, I could smell it the strongest. I did end up with um, two Palo Santos. Now I love Palo Santo scents. Um, I'm not sure that Scentsy does very well on Palo Santo, but because it's just such a love of mine, I got a couple more bars. So Palo Santo can read woody, it can read smoky, and it can read a little cologne -y. And this reads mostly woody. And it's a nice kind of sweet, um, wood, but, um, it also has kind of a smoky vibe, like think of toasted marshmallow without the marshmallow kind of smoke. Um, so um, it's very strong. I have yet to melt it. So, I mean, that's just on cold sniff. And then I got two French Kiss. I did end up adding French Kiss to my club. It is brown sugar and fig, um, like a dupe from Bath and Body Works, which I remember from high school um, and, and middle school. And it's very nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's a super strong performer. So um, know that I put it in my bedroom. I got two My Wish and My Wish is very interesting. Oh, no, I got three My Wish. Wait, no, hold on. No, I got two My Wish. Sorry, I had two purple ones. And this is supposed to be like fondant, um, marshmallow kind of thing. It's really interesting. When I put it in, it wasn't that strong, but I just went out of town, like I said. So on Thursday morning, I put in my wish and I came home today, today's Sunday, so four days later, and I could still smell it. Um, it's not a boomer of a scent, but man, it lasted a really long time. 
So I got two lemon thyme berry. Um, and I have not melted this, but it smells so good. It's a very bright lemon. I don't smell any thyme, but I do smell like a blackberry or raspberry note, kind of a deeper berry. Um, and it smells very strong. It will be um, something I melt pretty quickly to see if it's club worthy. And then I got um, two um, white tea and cactus. And I've smelled this many times before and I did put it in my club. It, it reads different to me every time. Sometimes it reads kind of green. Sometimes it reads kind of soapy. Sometimes it reads kind of floral. But either way, it is very strong. Super duper strong. I think of of all of the Bring Back My Bar scents so far, that one is the strongest by far. I got two Summer Soleil, and I really wanted to see if I need to put this in my club. The scent is very lovely. It's it's supposed to be like pineapple and maybe ice cream or something, but it reads very perfumey to me, and I really like it, but I put one in my office, and it worked super great, and then I put the rest of this bar um, in my open concept and it kind of got lost. So I need to decide if that is going to work out for me. Um, I, then I got, um, two of these Mandarin and Mango Nectar, and I love this scent. It, it kind of is a candied mango scent with like a bright citrus. It's a great performer. I don't usually like mango scents, but it's kind of sugary candy like, and I really, I liked it. And I actually put those, that flavor into my club. And then I got, I didn't put this in my club, but I got four of them because I wanted to smell them. And that is vanilla bourbon. So vanilla bourbon is part of our Father's Day collection. Oh, it's nice. So this, um, well, on the bottom, it smells very different. So, um, it reads like kind of a spicy, um, bakery vanilla. And then that bourbon, you don't really smell as much as you just smell kind of a warmth. Like, yeah, like a warmth to it. Um, which is kind of like that, you know how um, bourbon comes in barrels, like they age it in barrels. It kind of reads a little bit like that. And then the last thing I got in wax is this, which is a peeling apple. And this is the scent of the month. And I didn't get the scent of the month kit this month, so I really wanted to smell this. And I've heard lots of people describe it. It's really in the clam. Um, um, okay. So it's very apple-y. It smells very much like, like Johnny Appleseed, I'd have to say. I kind of like Johnny Appleseed a little bit better because when I get Johnny Appleseed, I get a little bit of the pear note. This is supposed to have pear in it too. I'll have to try it out warming, but we'll see. Um, I'm looking at my packs and I'm like, I should really only have three, um, four, six packs. So um, I think I got an extra vanilla bourbon for some reason. I don't know why that might've been, but okay. So I got a peeling apple. Um, on cold, it smells like a medium. We'll see. And then I got some wall fan diffusers. I got four of them. Um, I got one, um, two in marble black and two in marble white. And the reason I got these, you guys know, is I'm kind of collecting my Christmas gifts um, for work people. And so um, this is the marble white. And um, it looks really nice. So a wall fan diffuser, you just put a pod in here. You plug in right here. Um, and then it goes um, into a USB port. So some people keep these in their car year round. Um, in Texas, I would not recommend that. that. That would be something I would do only in the winter months. In the summer months, I'd plug it in next to your computer at work. I have one at work because I was honestly not sold on this situation when I saw it. And um, I have gotten more compliments on the smell of my office. I have had wax in there. I have had, um, let me see, I've had wax. I've had um, a um, flower, like a fragrance flower. And although I've gotten compliments on both of those, 
by far I've gotten the most compliments when I've used um, one of these mini fan diffusers. So um, those are the whites. And then I got two blacks. And like I said, I'm just trying to throw them in and party orders and things like that so that when I um, get to Christmas, I have not had to spend too much money. So these I got with the free host rewards. So I actually didn't pay anything for them. Um, and so this is the marble black. And you'll see it just is kind of a marble finish. Um, so I really, I mean, I like I said, I do highly recommend these. Um, they're very inexpensive. I think that they're um, $15. And when you throw them in for your party rewards and can get a couple, um, that's really great. So um, like I said, I got those. Um, and then the last few things I got was the um, Father's Day bundle, which is in vanilla bourbon. It, ha it came with body soap, shave soap, and refreshing face balm. And I chose this scent um, mostly because the other one, um, sound it said that it was like mossy. And um, I think I've smelled it before and it smells really good. Like it's very manly but I wanted to try something different. And then the very last thing I got, I know this sounds weird, but I got a dish for, that's called Calica. Um, so let me tell you the reason I picked out this dish. <laughs> this is funny, but I have a warmer that's at work that has a really super big hot plate, like super big. And um, the dish itself is so super large that it's like I, um, it's like maybe twice the size of this and I feel like the wax just is like barely touching the surface and I think I will have better performance with wax um this doesn't have a number on it but it is just like it's a deeper dish um but smaller size around so I think I'll have better performance um with this dish so I got this because I wanted to try that um in my warmer at work, um, my hot plate warmer. And so like an element warmer, I just wanted the dish to be smaller. So I thought that this was kind of neutral looking. Um, and I'll let you guys know because I have been testing a lot of scents, um, especially like the bring back my bars at work with just one cube. But when you have, when the dish is so large and it's just one cube, it just, I mean, it just barely touches the surface of the white. And I kind of want a little bit of a wax pool. So, um, that is one like little tip that I will give you is whether you're using Scentsy warmers or other warmers, um, you really have to find the right mixture, like the right location, the right, um, and when you're considering location, you have to consider airflow, air conditioner, um, you know, where you're going to be sitting, all of those things, other warmers. Um, but you need to consider the dish, the dish size, because um, most um, wax works well if you use about an ounce of wax and that's what most um, places will recommend. Sometimes you'll see Scentsy um, gives you a recommendation on a wax um, warmer that says to use four cubes. Well that's more than an ounce of wax and the reason is that they want you to have a good wax um, pool so that the um, oils can be released um, once it's heated up from the bottom. So I'm just trying something different. Um, we'll see how that goes. I, I'm not um, an expert, but it's just something I'm trying to see if I can get a, a little bit different performance because when there's not enough wax, it, you can still smell it. Like, don't get me wrong. If I put in a super large warmer, if I just put one cube, I would smell it, but it would burn off faster because all of the oils would be touching the heat kind of all at one time. Whereas if you're, if, if you have a smaller dish and you put one cube, um, the oils will settle to the bottom, but it will, it, it takes some time to get through that wax and it will, it will just give you longer lasting performance. So that's kind of, um, what I'm thinking. I think I may have gotten an extra bar by mistake. So, um, I always am not sure what to do about that. So I'll probably call customer service and see, um, what they recommend and um, feel lucky that I got a fourth bar of vanilla bourbon. Maybe I'll um, sample it out for people or something just to feel um, good about it. So anyways, um, talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.